Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here once again with some more mad men. Hopefully you guys are ready to jump into another episode, episode four of season one. We have much to do. We have much to go. When you guys get to see this on YouTube, eventually, <laughs> eventually when you guys see this on YouTube, um, if you are watching this right now, just know that this, we started this a while back on Patreon. So if you want to see these episodes early, you know what to do. See how far it is. Maybe by the time you're seeing this, we've already finished watching the show. I mean, it's, it's a bunch of seasons. I think it is seven seasons, <laughs> right? So I don't think we're going to be through before it hits YouTube. But anyways, you'll see how far along we are. If you want to see my thoughts on episodes ahead, please do take the time to check out the Patreon. There's plenty of stuff that's going on over there. That's not on YouTube. So appreciate the love okay so thank you guys so much in advance you know what to do man gonna watch the reaction i'll see you guys after for the review he'll finally get to meet his wife hello lovely you can do better than that Sure, do you know the fellas? Ken, Paul, and Harry, of course. You'll notice only men coming out of there. I know you all work so hard. What is she wearing? Do we have a lunch thing? <laughs> because Hildy, is that uh, a, she can what is that, a book. coat? No, but I'm taking you away. Trudy, I don't think taking you to lunch is part of my job. I called Hildy and asked if you were free. It'll only take a minute, I promise. I'm sorry. It's great. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Campbell. Don Draper, nice to meet you. Congratulations, you're a very lucky girl. I know. Most of my friends can't find a good man. Believe me, I'm the lucky one. Yes, you are. I think we're almost as happy to have him as you are. Oh, I don't think that's possible. Almost. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Trying to figure out what the hell she's wearing, bro. Square feet, two it's a nice dress. Bedrooms. I don't know if that includes no, it's a jacket. Over on market, shawl. <laughs> Elaine, the realtor, says we can get it for 30. Lovely. You oh, she went to look at I houses. You everything. I make $75 a week now. I know you're not good at math, but that's $3,500 a year. Make more eventually, but if we put 10% down, that's an entire year's salary. We're not in this alone. We're a young couple that needs a little help. That's what it is delusional, bruh. This man is laying the car down and you're not listening. It's the same one. Man, she's. I don't know why I find her so attractive, bro. Like, in every thing that I've seen her in, bruh. It'll probably look better when it's breaking up Bonanza. He's perfect for Menkins. So he keeps telling me. Let you see Miss Mencken out. Not really. Not necessary. <laughs> Listen. What are you doing? I don't know. Feelings for her. <laughs> yes, well. We both know how we'd like it to be. Can we at least have lunch sometime? I really can't see a reason for that. They both like each other. Bruh. That's the situation, but... Hey, man, you can't. I don't know what to tell him to do because he obviously feels different about her than, you know what I'm saying, than the other chick. All of it is wrong, but, you know, in the context of the show, it's like, you know, should I be telling him, leave your wife? <laughs> Bro, but you might leave your wife for uh, not, a, not a better situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, now she has to be out here walking the dog. She don't want to be walking. <laughs> Give this woman more work. Open the door. Excuse me, miss. I know you can hear me, miss. Can, can I use your phone? I'm her husband. Her this husband? My kids, and I, I know she's in there. No, I'm sorry. Are you serious? 
Yeah. I'm not sure who you are who you say you are, but I don't let strange men into my home. Can I come in? Of course. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I was at the window. Did you let him in? Yes. He's not a bad man. What happened? I'll tell you exactly. He had a lot of friends in the city. Turned out none of them were men. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, I figure I might as well say it. It's what you've all been guessing anyway, right? We haven't all been doing anything. The strangest part of it is that I think he's angrier at me than I am at him. Of course, my father got a lawyer, an army buddy who just hammered the hell out of him. Work. <laughs> I still don't understand what you do. Oh, I'd hate for you to miss the blackberries. I'm running to you at the club, you're working, whining and whoring. No job for a white man. Excuse it's made me? A nice addition to the table. There's a lot more to it than that. Advertising. Really? Are these his Someone parents? tell me there's a lot more of the law, I believe him. I can't explain how business works to you. Trudy found uh, an apartment that she likes. And, well, he came to ask kind for. Of expensive. So he's asking for a loan. We're going to need help with the down payment. No, I don't think that's a good idea. And why is that? I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, as much as I... I assume I... it's your profession that is responsible for this lapse in your manners. I'll pay you back. Not about the money, Peter. You know that. Why is it so hard for you people to give me anything? We gave you everything. We gave you your name. And what have you done with it? First of all... <laughs> First of all, if you're trying to make it on your own and you're not like following in your parents' footsteps, you know this is a situation if you're trying to be a man and grow up and stuff like that, you should not be going. They should be a absolute last resort. A situation like that is not a last resort. Your wife is taking advantage of the situation knowing who your parents are. So... You got to let her know, no, I'm not asking my dad for any money. I'm going to, we're, we're going to stay in our apartment the way it is right now until we save enough money to get a better one. That's what we're going to do. But instead of you putting your foot down, you let her drive you into it. This woman is probably just with you because she knows that your parents got money. It's the only reason why she's probably with you, but I'm not going to put that out there yet. You know what I'm saying? It's just a probability. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay? But at the same time, it's like, if you're a man and you're out there and your parents got money and you're trying, if you're out here making it on your own and you're never dependent on your parents, don't start now. Don't start now. Keep pushing. Make it on your own. Obviously, they don't like what you what you do. Maybe he wanted to pass the, the family company down to you. You didn't want it. You wanted to do something on your own. The shit happens. I've seen I have friends that have rich parents and whatever, and they try to hand off the company to them and stuff like that. And they don't want it. You get what I'm saying? But if you're going to do that, then you're not going to follow in your father's footsteps. And of course, they're disappointed in it or the choices that you're that you're making, um, you know. But if I was your dad, to be honest, I wouldn't give you the money either. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I would not give you the money either because at the, you're trying to make it on your own and you're trying to do this without help. You're not going to live in a posh apartment living off of me. It's like, oh, I'll pay you back. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to take that one to the grave. You're not going to pay me back, son. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to remember, I raised you. <laughs> All right. So if I know you're not that person who pays back your debts, you're not going to start now. Okay, um, so, um, mind you, they were a little bit harsh towards him. I, I get that. And that's how parents are sometimes, especially when they, when they have a kid that disappoints them in terms of, oh, I want to pass down a legacy to you. It's what I work 
my whole life for to pass something down to my kids. But if you don't want to walk in that footsteps, that's fine. I'm not going to force you to do it. But don't expect me to not be disappointed. You get what I'm saying? Don't expect me to not be disappointed. And don't ask me for nothing. Don't ask me for nothing. You wanted to build your own stuff and do it your own way, right? So why are you coming to me back for money? <laughs> Stay in your lane. Work hard. I work hard so you didn't have to work hard. That's what I did as a parent. So you didn't have to work hard. All you have to do is just step in and take over and be a leader. I taught you everything. All you have to do now is just step in there and be like, yo, I'm that guy now. I'm my I'm my dad. Look at the the um the masterpiece little Romeo situation. You know what I'm saying? Man worked a whole all his life to pass the business down, whatever he's built up, to his son, um, Romeo. And look at Romeo just stepping into that role. You know what I'm saying? Became the youngest, I think he became the youngest billionaire. You know what I'm saying? I, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, am I mistaken? I could be mistaken. I don't know. All I know is he inherited that business from his dad and he's doing really well. So, yeah. So I wouldn't give him the money either. Can I help with the apartment? I didn't bring it up. My dad's been having some health problems. They're kind of plain, aren't they? Reminds me of those WPA ads before the war. The idea, it's so basic. You feel like you already know it, you just haven't thought of it lately. I might be wrong, but these feel like ads for cities. You're making our company look like a middleman for another product. Oh, would you prefer a eye beam on a plate with a pat of butter on it? No need to get cute, Don. He's making a point. Steel is not something that you can buy at the supermarket. But it is a commodity. Don, Walter has expressed himself. Now, Walter, if this does not meet your expectations, I'm sure Don can find something that does. Right, Don? I hate to be a pain in the ass, but if they didn't just lay there so flat, they just bother me. Look, if we can persuade you to stay in town another 24 hours, back at the St. Regis, of course, it will give us a chance to come up with something with more impact. Sorry about that. Like 20 they acres or some shit. Drawings. No, the WPA was a very respected style. 20 years ago. <laughs> what the hell was that? Come on, Don. That's not the first time someone's been unhappy. Give it a haircut. He's a second-time guy anyway. I could feel that. And I could feel he was sentences away. He didn't like the idea. Someone hadn't prepared him to like the idea, an idea he was extremely enthusiastic about three months ago. I'm sorry I didn't lower his expectations enough. Leave the ideas to me. I have ideas. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Sterling Cooper has more failed artists and intellectuals than the Third Reich. You know what? I have good ideas. Direct marketing. I thought of that. Turned out it already existed, but I arrived at it independently. And then I come to this place and you people tell me that I'm good with people. Which is strange. Because I'd never heard that before. That man is losing. <laughs> he is losing it. Listen, this may be truly rude, but I was wondering. I'm supposed to be stuffing envelopes at Kennedy headquarters tonight and... My sitter just canceled, and I hate to back out because, well, you know, New York State is so important. Right now? Why don't you just bring your kid to you know her what? house? I, I guess Don can watch the kids. Or okay. she could just bring yes, her kid to your house. Take your time. Why does she have to go over there to watch your kid? Just ask, can I leave my kid with you? That's better. I'll be back before 10, I promise. Glenn? <laughs> we have some great news. Oh. Already? Honestly, you too. It's not that. <laughs> I've been looking in the neighborhood, and it seems very well-priced to me. What's it going for? 32, but the realtor says we can get it for 30. Around here? 83rd, but how many rooms? Five. Two bedrooms, two baths, a terrace. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sir, I, I, I'll take Tom or Dad. You got me? 
tough. Yeah. It's very generous for you to even consider it, but I think we'd rather wait. Start your life already. You're gonna be a rich bastard on your own someday, and waiting's a bunch of bullshit. Tomcat. It is. Your confidence is really, well, it's swell. Pete, this is an investment for me and you. Oh, and my jelly bean over here, of course. And I, 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 I say this with, with a very s sad but serious demeanor. Um, you know what? I never liked this guy, but I respect him. You know what I'm saying? I respect what he's doing here because, um, I think he just wants to make it and not have anybody say that, oh, I helped you do this or, you know what I'm saying? I know this guy is not asking for like, uh, uh, like asking to pay him back or anything like that. He's doing this for his daughter, but it makes you feel less of a man. And I know it might seem oh, insecure and <laughs> all this other stuff. Listen, man, there's one important thing that men have that we curtail and we try to be as manly as possible. It's one of the things that makes us masculine, and that is our pride. And there's a lot of things that we take pride in that we don't want anyone doesn't matter if it's family or not family that we don't want anyone to compromise it's very damaging to our personality to our pride it's very damaging and this guy wants to stand up on his own two feet and make it on his own and take care of his wife but his wife is not on board with that his wife, his wife is out here looking for a handout and just can't be patient. Oh, I want the house now. I want the car now. I want everything right now. You know what I'm saying? Like the way how she forces it. Oh, you can't get it from your parents? I'll just get it from mine. It's just like, am I your husband or are your daddy still taking care of you? Which one is, which one is it? You know what I'm saying? And in, in all respects, you know what I'm saying? These are the things, and I can tell you this from, from personal experience with having friends, and I've been talking about this from the last episode as well, where I tell you guys that I have friends that are in this exact situation that have been through shit like this too. And this is one of the excuses that they use. Mind you, it's an excuse, so it's still bullshit right? Did they tell you, oh, it's because she did this. She doesn't respect me. So why can't I cheat? Oh, you get what I'm saying? It's still a bullshit excuse, but it is what it is, right? But she's out here just about what? Suppose your dad had said no. Who's next? You gonna find a man that can give you the house you want? Like, this is just crazy to me. Like, she's not on board with his program. And that's one of the things that... He, I mean, this is the 19... Whatever. I don't know. This was set in the 70s or 50s or whatever. Either way. Either way. Women still struggle with this kind of stuff today. You know what I'm saying? They still struggle with this stuff today. Right? Even though... We live in a society now where women can, women, you know, are in the workplace pretty much making the same, you know what I'm saying, making the same amount of money or even more than what men do. You know what I'm saying? Even though they still complain about it, which I, I don't know what they complain about. Um, It's just those situations, man. You know, these are the kind of stuff that make men step out on their marriage because Women just don't come on their program. You know what I'm saying? Don is a whole different story. So we're not talking about Don. I'm talking about this kid, this dude here, which I never, I never really liked from the from the get go. What he did in, in the in the first couple of episodes, but now that he's back, he's married, and he's trying to do right. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to do right, and he's like, "Listen, man, I can't spend a whole year's salary 
on a down payment for a home that's ridiculous and stupid. Like, you, do you understand how stupid that is? It's like, oh, you don't have to worry. I'll just get help. And it's not you going to work, mind you. It's not you going to work so we both can, can pay it or pay this down payment. The first instinct is to go hoggle our rich parents. Bruh. Oh, thank you. You're going to love it. We'll be so happy there. We... I think she's the one that's probably going to end up cheating <laughs> this thing. I'm just not sure taking that kind of money is a good idea. He's not paying for the whole thing. It's still a lot of money, and I'm not sure what it means. You would have taken money from your parents. That's different. Why? Because that's my money. I'll get it eventually. Sweetheart, he wants to help. It makes him feel good. And what about me? And what about me? See? You always get what you want, don't you? I got you. That's all I really wanted. Is that why you're pushing so hard to get an apartment Can you don't you need? Can you turn up park? I need to meet a client downtown. Hush, it'll only take a sec. She is so controlling and he won't put his foot down. Why are you snooping? First of all, I, I couldn't... I couldn't cheat on Betty. This man has zero problems at home. I'm in here. Boy, Glenn, you... I said get out. Is that what? What is wrong with you? This room is occupied. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does Helen let him do that? What do you have to say for yourself? Extremely rude. I think Helen lets you know him do that. Walking on someone like that. I don't think he does. This room is private. Extremely private. That boy is not old enough to be that curious. He probably doesn't get much love. His mom is always gone. It's all right. I'm not angry anymore. Hmm. You're pretty. How old is he? Well, thank you, dear. How old are you? Well, I'm the same age as your mother. Your hair is so beautiful. You look like a princess. This boy is into some shit. Well, what have you been watching, sir? <laughs> have some? What? Can I have some of your hair? You are creepy. Bruh! I don't even miss it. I know you're not about to take a piece of your hair and give to this little kid. Are you serious right now? That is bad. Don't do that. Now off to bed with you. And no radio. He looks like he's about 10, maybe maybe 12? Could be. Creep in the making, right? <laughs> you know, I had some thoughts about your campaign today. Did you? I thought Bethlehem Steel, the backbone of America. What do you think? <laughs> Unbelievable. Did Draper tell you to try and sneak this one by me. No, I was just... Campbell, get off the clock. The only backbone I'm interested in now is right here. <laughs> <laughs> they were paid so, to entertain, tell, sir. When, what do you do? Well, I'm an actress, and I take some classes at Hunter. Do you? I would have thought you slept all day and bathed in milk. Bruh. <laughs> Looks pretty familiar. Well, I wanted to maintain our original strategy, but I think the wordplay achieves what you're looking for. The idea that from the acorn that is Bethlehem Steel comes America's great cities. I know this isn't the idea you want to sell me, so don't sell it so damn well. Excuse me? The backbone idea. Campbell pitched it to me last night. Really? Backbone idea. Bethlehem Steel, the backbone of America. Wasn't that it? Ah, right. I like that you were so enthusiastic about it, you couldn't wait to tell me. I don't know what this enthusiasm is coming from. They obviously Thanks, don't know. I don't know Especially where you're going. Happy, well, it's a good idea. Good one. Enjoy it. You know what I think? 
I think I did something good, and you got the compliment for it. I need you to go get a cardboard box. Put your things in it. Okay? Yikes. You picked the wrong time to buy an apartment. I didn't expect that to happen to him. The show is 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 like stirring up my 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 good I was about to say juices. That's no. <laughs> um this this definitely is you know stirring my conversation the conversationalist in me, right? The person who just wants to talk about these this kind of stuff. Right. Did Pete deserve to get fired? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. As much as I feel like he did a good job and it was a good idea. What he did to get to this point, though, you have to consider that. You have to look at it. Like, he's constantly disrespecting Don. Like, it's not the first time. This is literally the third interactions they've had with a client that he's being rude and overstepping his boundary. Like, dude, you get paid to do a job. Do the job. If you have ideas, pitch it in front of everybody. Don't pitch it like when you... you you know what I'm saying? It's like telling the clients about your idea. Your job is not to pitch ideas. You get what I'm saying? Because it could, it, you could have pitched a stupid idea and, and it would have reflected bad on Don. Suppose he didn't think it was a good idea and came in and was like, what kind of idea did you send um, Pete with? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. And then, and then when Don tells you to, you know, enjoy the, the small, this small victory, you know what I'm saying? No problem at all. Kind of caught him off guard and whatever. And he told you, enjoy it. You're going to be snarky about it. It's like, oh, I think I had a good idea and you took the credit for it. Like, obvi I mean, what did you want me to do? You put me in this situation, my guy. You're the one that put me in this situation and now you're being snarky about it? You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know. He caught me off guard with it. Right. And now I'm congratulating you. Mind you, I might be a little bit sarcastic about it, but at the same time, bruh. It's today. What happened? Well, I was breaking my neck trying to fix the hash he made yesterday. He was out at the St. Regis pitching copy. His copy. Is this the boss? Gentlemen, oh. please. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this guy. Pete Campbell. On his way out. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Can't be avoided, I'm afraid. I wish I could agree with that. There are other rules. What's the problem? New York City is a marvelous machine. It's like a fine watch, wound tight, always ticking. His mother is Dorothy Dykeman Campbell. The Dykemans owned pretty much everything north of 125th Street, which I don't know how good your geography is, but that's a fair chunk of the island. So they're rich. So what? Well, no. Question. What's your concern, then? Well, I don't want Dorothy Dykeman Campbell standing on the dock at Fisher's Island this summer talking about how badly Sterling Cooper treated her son. It's a marquee issue for us. Mm. See my point? Absolutely. He's more valuable to the agency than I am. Don't fool yourself. There's a Pete Campbell at every agency out there. Well, let's get one of the other ones. You handle the words. You know how much we want you here with us. No doubt about that. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad we're all better now. the hell do you do all day? Why do you even come in? He thought you deserved another chance. <laughs> That's right. He fought for you. 
I don't know what to say. Say nothing. You are here because of Don Draper's largesse. See, this man is your commanding officer. You live and die in his shadow. Understood? <laughs> no, you shouldn't compete with Pete Campbell. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Not on a personal level, but for the world. Maybe every generation thinks the next one is the end of it all. They just keep cigarettes just everywhere. Kids today, they have no one to look up to. Because they're looking up to us. I kind of respect Pete, man, because Pete don't want... He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to live off of his parents' fame or anything like that. I think that's the only reason why this woman is with him. It's not because of him. I think she just wants a piece of that prestige, if you will, because she knows, you know, who he is and um, who his parents are. I think that's the only reason why she's with him is to be, oh, I'm, I'm married into basically, you know, royalty, if you will. Madman is definitely with four episodes in. I'm definitely seeing the the allure, if you will, as we go along here. I'm definitely seeing the possibilities of why people love this show. You get what I'm saying? Um, the relationships, the day to day life, is the the writing is incredible. The dialogue is incredible in the show. Um, and I'm just four episodes in. Now, I don't know what's going to take place in the seasons to come. You know, um, I don't know if it's going to be one of those situations again where people are like, oh, it goes downhill from here. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to come to that. But at the end of the day, um, it, I'm definitely intrigued. I want to see more. I want to watch more of this show um, because it stirs up a lot of conversations, especially with me. You know what I mean? Um, just seeing what is taking place, um, it, it just calls into a lot of um, moral issues that, you know, everyday people battle with. You know what I mean? Um, especially infidelity. You know, see, th th that's a huge theme in the show so far where you know the the consideration of how these men live you know how they conduct their lives you know um you know betty reminds me a lot of my girl and the reason why i say this is that she's not sickly or anything like that she's not sickly um or anything like that like she doesn't have any chronic pain in her fingers in it but she does remind me of her and the reason why is because um she she has this thing about her right she has this thing about her that's just very caring very understanding very on the program you know what i'm saying um at this point I wouldn't be surprised at anything that she does. I think I think I know her pretty well to the point where I could say, okay, she displays a lot of those qualities. I do believe that she would be an awesome mother. You know what I'm saying? Just like Betty is. I believe Betty is a very good mom. You know, um, I think she knows that i think she kind of knows that don probably sleeps with other women but she doesn't know for sure she probably suspects it and you know her reaching out to helen you know helping out with helen and stuff like that it just goes to show you that you know it's a situation where she's very understanding of of whatever the situations are she's very understanding of it she doesn't pretend like it's something else you know what i'm saying um but she worries a lot because of who don is she worries a lot and 
he gives her the reasons to have doubt about your marriage as well. So he doesn't get no brownie points from me. As far as I know, Don is, is, is a deadbeat. You know what I'm saying? As a husband, and he's not too great of a father either. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we're going to keep watching. Of course, Pete feels sorry for the guy. See, so finally, you know, he was in a good place. He was in a good phase, but I think he's starting to realize that his wife doesn't love him for him. He lo she loves him because he's from a prestigious family and it's something that he probably, he, you know what I'm saying? It, it's something that he probably don't want to get special treatment for. He wants to make his own, own way in the world and it, it just keeps coming up. He doesn't know that that's what saved this job too. He doesn't even know that. And I think he's going to find out eventually that that's what saved this job. Um, you know, his parents are loaded and they don't even want him. They, they don't even want him to, you know, be even working this job. It's like, it's not what men do. We don't advertise. We, we pay people to advertise our stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's one of those snobby people. I can't, can't stand those people. And I've hung out with them so much. And, I, and and the thing about it is this, like I've told people like that that are so snobby and stuff like that, that they're pieces of shit before. And they act like they're better than other people and stuff like that. You know, I've rubbed elbows with a few, you know what I'm saying? Not much, but a few down here in Miami, you know what I'm saying? I've rubbed elbows with a few and I've told a couple of them that they're assholes to their face. You know what I'm saying? I treat people like, you know, they belittle people and act all snobby and stuff like that. And I'd be like, yo, not because you got money, bro. Doesn't give you the right to treat people however you want to treat them. It, it, no, you gotta, you gotta calm that shit down. Cause you may mess with the wrong one, one day and think that it's, you know, you know what I'm saying? You could do the same thing and that might be your last day. So, you know what I'm saying? Humble yourself, man. You know what I mean? Um, so I love it. I love it, man. This show really sparks a lot of conversations, um, to be had. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Of course, man, it's another good, great episode to be honest. Um, that kid, Helen's son needs help today that he needs to go to therapy that is so creepy to be like that at 10 years old no it's it, it's not creepy to be curious but to not know that you don't just bust into a bathroom while a woman is using the bathroom as a boy that old that is a problem that is a problem bruh helen and a lot of that stuff too you know and it's a problem that that comes with you know, being a single mom and not being able to be there to teach your kids what they need to know. You know what I mean? That plays a part in it too. She's not available. And that's because, you know what I'm saying? The father is not present. Now, mind you, this not, it's not her choice, but at the same time, the kids are going to suffer because of, because of this, regardless of what happened between the two. So it's just one of those things, man. And this episode was was done really well. I'm digging the story, man. I'm digging what these characters have to go through and stuff like that. Um, this is crazy. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning in once again, man. Leave a like, leave a comment. Catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.